American part of this hemisphere. In 1971, our own country ratified Protocol 2 uh, with a distinguished representative of our government, Senator Hubert Humphrey, having signed that on behalf of the United States. The ultimate hope of this commitment by all the nations involved is a complete prohibition against the ownership or deployment or use of nuclear weapons in the southern part of this hemisphere and complete international safeguards for all nuclear materials that are owned by all those countries. So far only two uh, countries have not signed this treaty. One is Argentina and the other one is Cuba. France has not yet signed Protocol 1, which we are signing this afternoon, and the Soviet Union has not signed Protocol 2. This is a commitment of worldwide significance. As I said in my own inaugural address, our ultimate hope is that we can eliminate completely from the earth any dependence upon atomic weapons. And I think it is significant and typical of our Latin American neighbors <clears throat> and those countries in the Caribbean that 10 years before that time, they had already made this worthy commitment which sets an example for the world. So at this time, I would like, to, on behalf of the American people, to sign Protocol 1 of the Tlatelolco Treaty, which means that we will not deploy nuclear weapons in the Caribbean or in the Central or Southern American continents. <coughs> We are very proud of the leadership <clears throat> role that the nation of Mexico has played. Cataloco is in the suburbs of uh, Mexico City and if I had my preference I would have chosen a place that has a little bit easier uh, pronunciation but <laughs> I've practiced and with the help of many people I've now learned how to say it I believe. That's where the foreign office is in Tlatelolco. Exactly. Let's see. The Mexican Foreign Office is in Cuadralocco. <laughs> <laughs>